Hi, my name is Evie Rosenblum and your free book is on its way to your inbox right now. I put this together to help people find joy in dark times because I know what it's like to feel stressed, overwhelmed, depressed, and anxious. Let me tell you my story. So after a wildfire swept through my neighborhood, I was overcome with the fear of not being able to protect my kids. The anxiety got so bad that I started to feel shaky and off balance. Then the migraines started. Then my legs and my arms started feeling really numb and I got dizzy. I honestly thought that I was dying. The stress of feeling unable to protect my kids destroyed me physically and mentally. A whirlwind of brain scans and heart monitors. Off balance, I leaned on walls for support. For a year, I felt like I was on a boat being tossed around by a violent sea. There was no cure. I believed them. Hiding my tears under blankets in the dark, I drafted my will, wishing I could have given my kids a happy life. Then everything changed. I heard my daughter's sweet little voice. Mommy, you can choose to be happy. I woke up. I'd never know unless I chose to try. I began to live life unapologetically unfiltered. I shamelessly wore a bright rainbow wig, ate kale and donuts, laced up my roller skates, sang and danced it out with my kids like we were on stage at a karaoke bar. Giggling, we paraded around with kazoos, throwing paint and glitter, celebrating life. I laughed hard as I fell on my ass in the moon bounce, realizing I would no longer let my fear of falling keep me from living my life. Serotonin, endorphins, dopamine, oxytocin. My soul burst back to life in technicolor as I fearlessly discovered and explored the tools to naturally choose joy. Grateful, the discomfort pushed me out of my shell. It was liberating to let go of the crippling fear of falling, humiliation, being too much or not enough. I refuse to allow my fears of circumstances outside of my control to derail me and dictate my emotions. Before the pandemic, the World Happiness Report said over 220 million children and 1 billion adults suffered from anxiety and depression. Sometimes we have to force ourselves to get up because there's hope. We can live up to our full potential. It feels wrong to strive for joy in dark times, but we need to, if not for ourselves, then for those who need us. I refuse to dull my sparkle anymore. I finally see it's time to get up, courageously embrace our quirks, ditch our excuses, set boundaries, and proudly chase our dreams because we were born to be happy. I've seen what stress and despair can do to the body and mind. I've watched people in psychiatric hospitals and homeless shelters completely transform their lives by choosing to be happy. Now that I know that happiness is simply a choice that anyone can make, I felt morally obligated to break down the framework and offer these powerful tools with anyone who needs a happiness boost. I have put together all these books and resources to help you find quick and easy recipes for happiness and all these different creative ways to unlock joy and find happiness within. I wrote activity guides and I'm throwing in all these bonus worksheets to help people push themselves from darkness to light. I'm here to support you and I want you to know that there is hope. Becoming a happier you is one of the biggest gifts that you can give to yourself and the people you love. Click the link below to buy all these resources and strengthen your mental health and start living your best life.